Hello friends. This video is brought to you by MyWayTeaching.com. Please read the question on the slide. It says that find the compound interest paid when a sum of rupees 10,000 is invested for one year and three months at 8.5% per annum compounded annually. Note here that interest is compounded annually while the time is one year and three months. So to calculate this question, first of all, let's write what all values are given. It's given that principal is equal to rupees 10,000. Time is given as one year and three months. And rate of interest is given as eight and a half percent per annum. Compounded annually. It's very important to note that here rate of interest is compounded annually and so we cannot divide time. So to do such questions let us first consider whole time in terms of years or we will convert these three months also into years. Let us try and calculate n. So n will be one year and three months can be written as three by twelfth of a year. If you solve it, we will get one year and one fourth of a year. Now we will start calculations of compound interest. What basically we will do is that we will find the amount for the whole part that is one year in this case and then use this as a principle to get the simple interest for one fourth year more so that when we add the two we will be able to find out the amount one has to pay for one year and one fourth of a year or else you can also calculate the interest that one has to pay for one year and one fourth of a year. So let's start by calculating compound interest for the whole part of the time that is one year. So we will substitute rupees 10,000 and plus 8 and a half can be written as 17 by 2 so let's substitute 17 by 2 full power 1 on solving this we will get rupees 10,850 is the com is the amount that has to be paid after one year now let us calculate simple interest for next one fourth year. So the formula for simple interest is P into R into N by 100. Here we will take this amount as the principal 
so you will get rupees ten thousand eight hundred fifty multiplied by rate of interest is seventeen by two multiplied by n that is one by four into whole divided by hundred. Let's solve simple interest further. It will come out to be rupees ten thousand eight hundred fifty multiply by seventeen multiply by one whole divide by hundred multiply by eight and on solving this we will get rupees two hundred thirty. Point fifty six pesa. So now we have two figures. We have amount for first year, that is rupees ten thousand eight hundred and fifty, and we have simple interest for next three months, that is rupees two hundred and thirty point fifty six pesa. to calculate the interest for the whole one year and three months let us also calculate the interest for the first year that will be so the compound interest compound interest is the amount minus principal value that will be rupees 10850 Minus rupees ten thousand. That was the principal amount for the first year. It will be rupees eight hundred and fifty. Now, therefore, total compound interest. Is equal to rupees eight hundred and fifty plus rupees two thirty two thirty point five six, which is equal to rupees. One thousand eighty point five six. It's time to notice that we are saying total compound interest, and we are including rupees two thirty. While we had calculated simple interest, it is because the amount that we had calculated for the first year. Was the principal while we were calculating simple interest for next three months, and hence we had calculated this interest. So actually, we have compounded the interest for next three months. That is why we can say total compound interest.